right, here we go. The past couple of weeks have been very weird for me, and that has been a direct result of pretty much nonstop busyness and traveling for about a month and a half. And I don't want anybody here to think I'm ungrateful and I don't realize how lucky I am because it was an amazing month and a half. I had so many great experiences, and on a whole, I would do it all again. But what I will say is that the busyness of it all and the having to be in a place and having all of my time accounted for for like a full month and a half really took its toll on me and caused me a lot of stress and anxiety for a prolonged amount of time. I left the experience feeling very burnt out and what it made me realize is that it's very much time for me to make some big lifestyle changes. For example, over the last couple of days I've spent my time almost exclusively and compulsively cleaning and organizing, getting rid of things, trying to change up my environment, and I've made a promise myself for the next month that I've left my calendar when I'm not working pretty much entirely open so that I don't have to stress about being anywhere. But I still haven't been able to kick this really uneasy feeling that I've been experiencing, which is both a result of not making videos and a result of the idea of making a video. You know, when you've been making content for as long as I have, which is about seven and a half years on YouTube, I think it's totally natural to come to a point in the road where you you ask yourself, why am I still doing this? Am I still making content that I like? And realize that you want a change, that you want to make a change. But it's something that YouTubers don't want to talk about. Like, we're scared to talk about it because the analytics point in the entire opposite direction. You know, changing up your content might mean that someone might not like it and they might leave. And that is terrifying from a business perspective and from, you know, a feeling good about your content perspective. And that's another thing that for the first time ever has really scared me, the business perspective of YouTube because views are down. I mean, you can see it on my channel. For the first time ever on my channel, if you're looking over the last couple of months, views aren't consistently going up. They are all over the board and it doesn't seem like there's any sort of through line. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys and say that view counts don't sometimes bum me out. Like, I'm bummed. I'm bummed that the videos haven't been getting as many views. It's not a wonderful feeling or a great motivator for busting out new content. But I will say that it's a wonderful motivator for realizing and remembering that the business of YouTube should should not fuel your content directly. It shouldn't be the person in the first seat. A couple of months ago I made a video called Do It For Yourself Not For The Likes where I talked about how when it comes to making projects for social media involving any sort of social media platform, you should really have love and passion for what you're making because when it comes to those platforms, likes, views, and subscribers are never insured. And if you finish a project and it doesn't get the likes and views that you were expecting, you're probably going to feel really really bad about that project if that was your sole motivator for making it. But if you make a project that you have a lot of love and passion for, at the end of the day you still have a project that you loved and have passion for. I think that's one of the more important videos that I have made and I've been thinking about it a lot because I think I need to take my own advice and I've kind of lost my way a little bit. Over the last couple of weeks as I've been really trying to figure out what it is the content that fulfills me and makes me feel the best, I've actually found myself going back and rewatching some of my really old content and I've been asking myself why I don't make so many big concept ideas like I used to before. I used to make so many skits and scripted content and just more well thought out videos. The sorts of videos that like I hope people see when they stumble onto my channel. And don't get me wrong, I still have a lot of love for a lot of the content that I have been making. The sit down Sunday advice sort of topical videos I've absolutely adored but I think I have not been feeding my creative brain. I haven't been feeding the monster and so the monster has not been its sleepy cuddly self but it's in a stressful growling monster that needs to be heard. For now I'm going to be focusing on slowly but surely changing up my channel, working on a shift. So what that means is that I'm going to be dropping the schedule for now which honestly should not make a big difference in your life because I haven't been going on the schedule for a long time now. But it does mean that for now, not forever, but for now, I'm going to be letting Maddening Mondays have a 
little bit of a break. I'm gonna be giving it a little vacation, and I'm also going to be giving Sit Down Sundays a vacation, but what I mean by that is more that I'm not gonna be making them every week. I'm not giving you guys a weekly commitment of it. They might still come out. They might come out on different days that aren't Sundays, and you'll be like, that's definitely a Sit Down Sunday video, but it wasn't on a Sunday, so I didn't call it that. Uh, but I'm gonna be focusing on really cultivating what I wanna create. I wanna be really clear that this doesn't mean I'm not working on content. It means the exact opposite. I've already started working on this sort of content. I'm gonna be dedicating a lot of time to writing again and conceptualizing and feeding the monster. The monster's gotta get fed. If you've been subscribed to me for a really long time, I think you're gonna really like what I'm gonna be putting out because like I said, I used to make content like this all the time. It was always really well received. And I also know that this whole video has sounded kind of super dramatic. It's just how it's felt in my brain. Honestly, maybe if you never watched this video, you wouldn't have even noticed that a shift was happening. I know that I sound like all my content's gonna be like night and day compared to what it's been, but it's just, it's more of a change for me. And I just, like I said at the beginning of the video, needed to make this video uh, to kind of just like set the grounds and get things going before I could move forward. It was for my own mental stuff. So with all that said, I hope that you will stay subscribed or subscribe if this is your first video you're seeing from me. If this is the first video you're seeing from me, that's very strange and I'm sorry that this is the first one, but here we are. At least you know what to expect. I know that some of you are going to be upset that Mounting Mondays is on a break. If that means that you're leaving, I understand and I hope you'll come back when Mounting Mondays eventually comes back, but if not, have a great time. But either way, thank you for hearing me out and I also want to thank my amazing Patreon supporters. These people have continued to support me even when I haven't been making videos and I really appreciate that. They donate money to me on a monthly basis and they get certain perks in reward for that and I really just can't say enough nice things because none of them have bothered me about why I haven't been uploading and they've all stayed with me and I appreciate it. Thank you guys. I've definitely rambled long enough so until next time, I love you beans and I will see you in my next video. Yeah.